My brother challenged me to a Noob vs. Pro secret inside head build challenge. Can I read Milo's mind and know his every thought? And what happens when we find out Milo's deepest, darkest secrets? Your head is so big, Milo. Pity there's no brains inside, only silly daydreams. Ah! Hey, no it's not. Uh, well, I think I know exactly what's going on in that pea brain of yours, and I'm ready to build it. That's fighting talk. Let's see how well we really know each other then, shall we? We have ten minutes and our time starts now. Whoa, it's time to go. Okay, I'm going to enter inside the Milo head and, whoa, it is very empty inside here. That kind of figures. Yeah, well, your head is empty too, which actually checks out. Hey, don't be cheeky, Milo. Your head won't be empty for long. It is time to build the things I think belong inside your head. The first thing we need to make is a blue floor, since right now the floor is grass, and I don't think there's exactly much grass inside your head. Uh, well, you know what's funny? What's funny, Milo? I'm changing the way your face looks. Oh, no, I'm really scared. Please don't change it too much. I love my face. It's gonna look really funny when I'm done with it. I'm very scared to see this. Now that the floor has been officially made, I think we also need to work on the door. The door out the front is going to be made out of yellow concrete. This way, Milo doesn't look like a vampire with fangs, and instead, he can just look like a regular version of himself. That is looking way better. It looks so much like the real Milo now. But when you enter on the inside of the Milo head, things will look a little bit different. We're going to build a fun parkour zone. Let's make a wall separating this parkour zone from the rest of Milo's head. We want to leave plenty of space. I think this is a really good way to do it. We'll make sure the parkour goes around a corner. That way there's even more surprises in store and the parkour just goes on for longer and longer than anyone could think possible. Yep, your favorite color is orange, right? Uh, yeah, of course, Milo. Everybody knows that. Well, I didn't know that, but now I do know that. Wait, what? Milo, you are building stuff orange, right? Well, What? No, Milo, don't build it out of green. I'm building yours out of blue, which is your favorite color, so you better make mine orange. Wait, blue is not my favorite color. Wait, what? Milo, what are you talking about? Blue's been your favorite color for years. No, no, no. My favorite color is light blue. It's totally different. Oh, okay. Sorry, Milo. Yep, you're right. I have been building this entire thing out of light blue, not regular blue, which is kind of more of a lapis lazuli color. Yeah. Lapis Lazuli? Oh boy, Milo, I gotta add your bad spelling somewhere in here. That would be the ultimate funny thing to put inside your head. I'm actually very good at spelling, and maybe if you spend enough time inside my brain, you'll realize that. Oh boy, I wonder if this is gonna make me worse at spelling. We can only find out, and we're only gonna be able to find out once this parkour wall is constructed. Then we'll be able to get started on the actual parkour inside. Let's go! Now that this wall has been constructed, we can actually start on the things inside Milo's head. We are going to have a bunch of fun twisty parkour. Obviously, it is going to be mostly blue, and it's also going to be spinning and twisting. This is to show how twisty and spinny and crazy swirly it can be inside of Milo's head sometimes. Now, let's get this platform actually spinning. Because Milo's thoughts are so spinning around inside his head all the time, he gets really mixed up. So hopefully, these platforms will be really good at mixing Milo up too. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, just just look at that! Now that the platform is moving, it is so much harder to make it across this thing and whoa! Milo's gonna have to be very careful to make sure he doesn't fall off the edge. Now let's also try and make this platform move, except this platform is going to move in a circle spinning around like this! Whoa! That already makes it so much harder to jump on this thing! Wow! I think this is going to be a big challenge for Milo. If he wants to win this thing, he's gonna have to try very hard and we can even add extra blocks up here. This way Milo can't cheat by jumping on the side of the platforms. Let's add even more spinning structures in here. We can add an actual loopy loop section. This is so exciting. I cannot wait to see Milo try and make his way through this one. Now, in order to make it through this thing, Milo's gonna have to do some crazy jumps, and then he's gonna need to do some even crazier ones. This parkour is so funny. I honestly don't know if Milo's gonna be able to do it, but that just makes the inside of Milo's head even more realistic. Since he is such a crazy and kind of confused all the time guy, this is perfect for him, because it really matches well. Chip, I know what you're obsessed with! What? Milo, what am I obsessed with? Yourself! 
What, Milo? That is not true. I'm not obsessed with myself at all. Why would you say that? Well, because I always hear you sleep talking and talking about how good you are. Uh, yeah, I'm a super cool guy. Milo, why wouldn't I talk about that? Well, I don't know. Maybe be humble challenge. Milo, you built a statue of yourself the other day in the village and called it King Milo. That was me being humble because I was trying to share my in the yeah, share your love of yourself. Milo, you better be careful. Otherwise, that's what I'm going to be building inside your head. A statue of me? No, Milo, your self-obsession. But don't worry. I'm building some really nice things inside your head that I think you're actually really going to like. It's probably going to make you cry because of how nice it is. Now, I think one thing we're going to build right here is a super cool area. And it's going to be the Bad Vibe Wipeout. It's going to be a fun parkour challenge. And it is actually going to be wipeout out themed it's gonna have a really good vibe inside once we make this wall we'll be able to give it all the good vibes this place needs now we are gonna give this place a really fun pattern on the walls because milo is so good at keeping out bad vibes milo's head anytime it hears a bad vibe it instantly shuts it out he's a really really positive person that's why this room is gonna have such a positive and good vibe i think milo's really gonna like it it might even be his favorite room in the entire place we'll give the walls a really cool looking pattern Whoa, that looks so cool. And we'll even add more light blue wool to the walls as well. I think this positive vibe room is going to be one of the best places in the entire build. We better make sure we build this positive vibe room true to itself, though. We want to make sure every positive vibe is in here. Now that the patterns on the wall are giving ultimate positive vibes, it's time to sort of take away from the positive vibes a little bit. We are going to build the entire floor with lava. I think this is a great combination where the walls are full of positive vibes, but the floor is actually burning hot rock. This is perfect. That is because this wipeout is going to be a really fun challenge. Milo is kind of a good mix like that. Half of him is positive vibes and the other half is like running across burning hot lava. I think Milo is going to love this part of his brain. We just need to actually place the lava down first. Then we can make the wipeout zone above it. Um, one question. Oh, Milo, what's your question? Well, what is your favorite game? What console? Oh, I think I definitely like an Xbox, Milo. That's probably my favorite. Stupid Xbox. Um, I mean, I really like PlayStation, especially the PlayStation 5. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you both. Oh, what? You're giving me both an Xbox and a PlayStation 5? Yeah, because I'm such a nice Boy. Thanks, Milo. That's really nice of you. Don't worry. I'll give you some really good stuff inside your head, too. I think this is going to be one of the most fun and awesome challenges we've done yet. We're going to need to make those giant big wipeout balls in here because in the actual wipeout, you've got to jump on these crazy obstacles. Milo's going to have to do the same thing. That's because in the bad vibe wipeout, all the bad vibes get wiped out. Milo will have to jump across these and he'll have to do it pretty quickly. This is not going to be an easy challenge for him. I hope Milo's able to actually do this one. If he's not, he could go falling into the lava, and that probably would not exactly be a very good vibe. Luckily for us, I think Milo will be able to do it. We're going to make this parkour just easy enough for him. That way, he'll be able to make it all the way across to the other side, and he'll be able to see the rest of what's inside this house. Now, we do need to make sure that these platforms actually look cool, and that they have a special effect. These platforms are going to spin. Yep, that is right. These won't just be regular, boring old platforms. Platforms, they're going to spin just like the parkour in the other room. Let's make sure we build all of them really sturdy, though. Then we can make them spin super duper fast. Yeah, what's your favorite dance move? My favorite dance move? Oh, I think my favorite dance move is definitely the gritty. It is a very good dance move, and I do it all the time. Yeah. Whoa, Milo, I think I'm already thinking about the word gritty a lot. Are you sure it's a good idea to have it permanently etched in my brain? Yes, I'm going to have instructions on how to do it as well. Oh, wow. Thanks, Milo. That's really exciting. Maybe I will get so good at doing the gritty, I'll be the best grittier in the world. Bro, you could not be more better at the gritty than me. Hmm, I think I might have a chance. But Milo, you might not have a chance at beating the crazy parkour I'm making right now. It's a little bit insane. I think you might have a go at it, but it might not be the most successful. Bro, why is that parkour in my brain? Because 
does, Milo. It's in the good vibes room, and I can't tell you much more about it. You'll have to see later. For now, I just need to make sure every single one of these starts spinning real fast. There we go. Now, every single one of these platforms is spinning. We're going to make a funny maze area. This is going to represent Milo's really bad memory. He is always forgetting stuff. It's like he's constantly walking around a maze in his own head, trying to form a single thought. It is actually kind of funny, and it's part of why Milo's such a funny and creative guy. That's why we're going to make this maze really cool. I think we can even fill it with fun things that Milo loves to show all this stuff that Milo constantly gets distracted by. This is about to be one of the funniest, coolest mazes ever. Let's do it absolute justice by making it so big. This is looking perfect. Now we're going to need to put some things inside here that really represent Milo, and we can even put them at each of the dead ends. This is about to be the most funny maze of all time. These are all things that Milo really struggles with keeping track of. It's stuff that he loses all the time. Milo always loses his bird seeds. That's why there's so much grass around Milo's house. It's actually just bird seeds that have fully grown into new plants because Milo forgets about them and they grow. And also, Milo forgets to take baths. That's why there is a forgetful bird bath in here. I think Milo should probably take a bath. Maybe we should build him a bath inside his brain. Then over here, there's going to be a bed. And it's not without reason. This is because Milo is always losing his way to his bed. He actually sleeps on the floor a lot. I think it might be why his beak is shaped like that. Otherwise, he'd have a pointier one, but I think he sleeps facing down, so it kind of got squished. Then Milo also loses his wallet all the time. He doesn't even bother carrying one anymore because he's lost five of them. Then one thing that Milo also loses is his direction. That is why we can have a bunch of them here. The arrows are going to be facing different ways to show Milo that no matter which way he goes, he's got to go back out this way if he wants to beat the maze. Then finally, the last thing that Milo loses all the time, and it's probably the thing he's lost the most recently, is my credit card. Milo is always losing my credit card all the time. I'm going to place it right here since I think this is safer than in my own pocket. Milo's always trying to steal it from me. Now we're going to use some ladders to go up to the next level of this Milo head house. I think this second level is going to be great. Now, where should we put it in? Wait a minute. Was that Milo just there? Hold on a second, guys. Did you see Milo too? Quick, rewind the video and see if I'm right. Or oh, let me know in the comments if I'm losing my mind. Oh boy, what is Milo doing inside my head? This is crazy. I think at the end of the maze, I'm gonna need a place to rest. Maybe Milo's bed shouldn't be here, but it should be inside this room. We're gonna make a bedroom for Milo because not only do I feel like I need to lie down, we also need to give Milo a safe space. Milo's bedroom is somewhere I can always find him. If Milo's had a hard day or or if he's really tired or even when I want to wake him up in the morning. If I ever need to find Milo, all I need to do is go into his bedroom and start telling him to wake up. He always wakes up looking all crazy. Milo doesn't have hair, but yet he wakes up every single day with the craziest head of hair when he sleeps. It is so funny. He actually wakes up with a wig on his head. I don't know where he gets it or whose hair it is, but it always looks so silly. Now we're going to need to give Milo a lamp and we'll even put it on Milo's hay bales. Milo loves to sleep next to a bunch of hay blocks. It's honestly his favorite thing. I think it's because he sleepwalks so much that he likes to run and sleep jump into the bales of hay. They provide a really soft landing for him. Now, we also are going to add some little armor stands around. This armor stand is Milo's favorite outfit. He wears this all the time, and it is a single pair of netherite boots. Milo's netherite boots are actually really worn down. They kind of look like feet at the moment, which is really convenient for him. Milo loves his netherite boots, so I'll get him a new pair, since inside Milo's head, this is what he's always daydreaming about. Now we'll also give him a carpet in here, since I want Milo to have a super comfortable bedroom. Milo deserves a wonderful place to be after all the crazy maze and the insane parkour he'll have to go through to get there. Then inside the bedroom, I think we can also place down some sofas. Obviously we'll make them light blue, since that is Milo's favorite color by far. I think it's definitely different to regular blue. If we added regular blue sofas, Oh boy, I think Milo would be pretty upset. Now, inside Milo's bedroom, he can get kind of lonely in real life. That is why we need to give him something here that will make him feel so much happier and something that will make him feel way less alone. We're going to give Milo a bunch of friends. In order to do this right though, we're gonna need to make a roof. This is probably one of the most important steps. You'll see why in just a second. This is Milo's friend, Jip Jip. And right now there's a concrete block above his head, but
but that's for good reason. When we remove it, he instantly starts floating upwards. This is to make it seem like all of the Jip Jips are gonna be floating around Milo's head, cause we're gonna add a couple. It's gonna be like a Jip Jip daydream, since Milo's always daydreaming about spending time with his really good friend. <laughs> wow, there are so many right now. That's just one of the things that Milo loves though. We need to fill the remaining parts of this room with stuff that Milo really loves. Obviously, bird seeds are one of his favorite things ever, so we're gonna need to add a bunch of those, and we'll even add them on this wall. This way, Milo can look at them at all times of the day. When Milo is sleeping, he's also gonna be looking up at the ceiling, and he won't just see a bunch of Jip Jips, he will also see a bunch of bird seeds on the sky too. This is so awesome. I think one thing we do need inside this room though is a little bit of a staircase. We'll add a flower pot to this bookshelf, then I think we'll also add a ladder too. This ladder will lead right up to another very important part of this build. It will lead up to level two of Milo's head. This level is going to be even crazier than the first one, so we better make sure we do this right. This next floor is going to be a little bit more cheeky than the first one. This floor is going to be based off of Milo's worst fears, cause the first floor is kinda based off of what makes Milo silly and fun and all the things he likes to think about. This floor is going to be a little bit more difficult than the first one, so it's going to be based off of the things that Milo does not like to think about. This first room is gonna have parkour in it, but if Milo falls, he will land in a pit of spiders and cobwebs. Parkour and spiders are two of the things Milo hates the most, so I think this is the perfect combination to totally troll him. We're gonna need to make the parkour actually spider themed too. I think that'll make it even funnier. <laughs> What? Milo, what are you doing? You're talking as if you were me. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm just practicing to be the chip so that I know what to build inside your plane. Milo, you don't have to copy my voice in order to do it. You can just build the things you know I like. We've spent so much time together that I know you know all of my favorite things. Do you like cans of tuna? Um, I guess I sort of like them. They're not too bad, but I don't know. They're a little bit fishy for me. I kind of prefer cupcakes and hot dogs and stuff. Well, too bad, you got a can of tuna. What, Milo? Why would you give me a can of tuna and not a hot dog? <laughs> I guess it is kind of funny. Honestly, you're pretty good at making jokes and being a prankster, Milo. That's one of the things you're best at. Yeah, exactly. That's why everyone calls me the king of the prank. Wait, they call you that, Milo? I thought they call you the crazy king. Nah, down in the village, they always be calling me the king of the prank. Well then, Milo, I guess I'm doing a pretty good job at building the inside of your head because you don't know it, but what I'm building right now is such a good prank and is so cheeky. I think you're definitely going to feel what it's like to be the victim of a Milo prank. Well, that's actually really funny because I play the best pranks and if I ever got pranked by myself, which has happened before, I would be laughing all day long. Okay, Milo, let's see just how you feel when you get pranked by something inside your own mind. Now we're gonna make these walls go all the way up to the top of the ceiling. We might even add some more fun themed parts of this parkour, like a giant spider web that Milo has to walk across to get to the other side. That's a great idea. Let's extend these walls right up to the ceiling and do just that. Now the cobweb is going to look like this. It's going to be one of the cobwebs inside this room because we also will have access actual cobweb blocks. That's to add even more spider elements to this place, just to make it even creepier for Milo. I know I'm not the biggest fan of spiders, but I think Milo might have the biggest fear of them I've ever seen. One time he tried to be friends with the spider and his name was Marcus the Haunted, but it did not go very well. Milo ended up running out of the house and trying to burn it down because Marcus the Haunted was inside. It was honestly a little bit scary. It was made even worse because the house he was trying to burn down was my house. It was so ridiculous. I had to to call the fire brigade and they didn't show up to my house very quick because Milo also burned down all the road direction signs because there were spiders on those too. Oh boy. We better make sure we don't make this room too freaky. Let's just add a couple more cobwebs and a couple more spiders. Hopefully this is not enough to make Milo totally lose his mind, but hopefully it is still enough to be a really, really fun prank that'll totally get Milo's heart racing. These two spider webs are looking pretty good, but now we're going to place a bunch of cobwebs all around. Now if if Milo tries to sneak around the side 
at all, he will totally get caught up by them. It's a really funny trick that means Milo will definitely not want to skirt through the entire parkour. If he fails or tries to cheat by going around these ledges, these cobwebs will definitely catch him, and will even put cobwebs at the very bottom just like this. These are totally going to freak Milo out. He really does not like spiders at all, and I think this room is about to put that to the absolute test. But if Milo does manage to make it to the other side, I think he should be rewarded with an entry into the next crazy zone inside the fear level of Milo's head. This next area is going to use one of Milo's most silly fears against him. Most people don't know this, but Milo is actually afraid of mirrors. That's because he thinks that his reflection is another bird, and any time he looks at his reflection, he always looks really scared, and then the reflection looks scared, so Milo starts looking angry, then the reflection looks angry, and it kind of just spirals. That's why Milo still won't look in a mirror, even if he gets paid a thousand dollars to do it. He still wouldn't. That's why we're gonna fill an entire room with them. Hopefully it'll show Milo one of his deepest fears, and it will help make our build of the inside of Milo's head even more accurate. We're gonna add some walls, and then we'll make a maze structure, just to know exactly where to place down these mirrors. I think this is a pretty good area for the mirror maze, and what is funny is that this kind of looks like a giant mirror for Milo. This is his face, after all. So if Milo sees this, he's probably gonna think it's his own reflection magnified a thousand times looking back at him. Oh boy, Milo is not gonna have a fun time in this maze. Or he might actually. You can never really tell with that guy. Milo once had a fun time rolling around in mud after it rained. I mean, I was a little skeptical at first, but then I joined a minute, and honestly, it was kinda nice. From that day forward, I was jumping around in the muddy puddles after rain all the time. It's actually really fun. Now, one thing that is also really fun is pranking Milo. That is why this mirror maze is going to be a huge success. We are going to place down so many mirrors that this place will sort of be like a haunted circus fun house. Those houses full of magic mirrors are kind of terrifying. And if Milo saw one that made him look way bigger or way smaller than he really was, he would probably freak out. Just like he's probably going to freak out when he sees the inside of this head house that we're making. Oh boy, these mirrors are going to totally drive Milo nuts. Now inside this place, Milo is going to have to look out for his real reflection in these mirrors, but there is also going to be another surprise. Milo will need to look out for his head on the walls. It's going to make this room so much more scary. If Milo sees his actual own head on the walls, I think it might just freak him out, and it'll make this room look like it's doing triple the amount of reflections. Just because if you see your head on the walls, you better hope it's a reflection. Otherwise, there might be some problems going on. Oh yeah, all these Milo heads definitely make this entire maze of mirrors feel even crazier. It's amazing how a maze can be so crazy. Now, through this doorway, I think we can make another room, and this room's gonna be kind of a strange one. One of Milo's least known fears of all time is that Milo really does not like ants. He actually has such a big fear of them, he won't even go on picnics anymore. He's too afraid of trails of ants coming to steal his apple pie, even though he does not like apple pie and he never eats it. Milo really does not like ants, so that's why we're going to build a room and on the inside, we're going to have a giant working anthill. This anthill will be so funny. I think it'll really scare Milo and it'll add a huge amount of fear factor to the fears of Milo room. Now, in order to have an ant room, we're gonna need to have a proper fence. Otherwise, the ants could literally crawl out and get everywhere. Luckily, these fences will be enough to stop the ants since these ants are going to be huge. They won't be able to make it beyond the fences. Now, we also need to make a roof so they can't exactly get beyond that either. Now, we need to actually start on this anthill. I think it could be so funny if in order to reach the next room, Milo needs to go inside the anthill and through it. That would be really funny. Could you imagine Milo running around freaking out about the ants? That would be so silly. I don't even know if Milo would be able to do it. And this is the inside of his own head. I think Milo can get in his own head sometimes. He freaks out about really simple things. The other day, Milo was freaking out about how to use a toaster. He was worried that he might not use it right. I think he was talking about putting water inside the toaster and it becoming a boiler. I just told him that putting water inside the toaster would cause an electrical fire and not to do it. He was really disappointed then actually. I hope he's feeling okay about that. But one thing that Milo might not be feeling okay about too soon is this crazy anthill. The anthill is looking pretty good. I think we need to add some things around it before we add the ants in. These ants are gonna come soon, but just not yet. We wanna make sure they have a really good home first. Otherwise, they might try digging around and trying to find a new home somewhere else 
software inside Milo's head, and that would be a disaster. We'll give the ants a bunch of hay bales to crawl around in and just to make into their little home. Yeah, that looks great. Now we also will add a little bit of a water feeder. This way the ants can have something to drink and they won't have to go exploring to find water. If these ants have to go exploring to find water, they might make their way all around Milo's head. That would be so bad. And one thing that ants actually really like is honey. That is why we are going to have a honey feeder inside the anthill zone. And obviously it will be raised above the ground. That way other creatures will not be able to steal the honey. Only ants can come and get the honey. I think this is a great system. The ants will be able to get it. They have water, hay, and honey, but hmm, they also need some building supplies. That is why we're going to grab some oak fences and we're just going to dot them around the walls like this. This way the ants can climb up them and attach their little tunnels to the top and they can also use this as wood to build extra parts of their nest. Ants' nests are made out of dirt and stones since they go underground, but if ants' nests are in a really unstable area, they might even need to use little twigs and sticks to reinforce parts of their nest. That is exactly what these ants are going to be doing. We'll leave these twigs and sticks all the way around this room. I think this room's looking pretty good so far. Now there is just one final thing to add, and that is the ants themselves. Let's get an ant egg and spawn a bunch down. Whoa, look at these guys. There are so many ants in here. Oh no, what is it, Milo? Milo! Oh, um, no reason. I'm sure it's nothing, right, Milo? Well, this is just reminds me of the one time that I got ants in my pants. You got ants in your pants? Milo, you've never told me about this before. Yeah, I was at the carnival, and I was in the bouncy castle, and then all of a sudden, I started screaming! Oh no, Milo, were you screaming because the ants were in your pants? Well, no, I was screaming because there was a scary clown, and he shot me with a cannon that had ants in it. And then I got ants in my pants. Oh no, Milo, that's so embarrassing and... Wait a minute, is that why you were running around the carnival without pants for the rest of the day and everyone was trying to stop you? Uh, well, yes, that's exactly what happened. And then people drew mean photos of me. Milo, those weren't mean photos. Those were police reports. And now we're both banned from the carnival for life for that little debacle. Oh, well, that's my bad. And it won't happen again as long as ants stay far away from me. Oh, um, well then, I'm just going to build nothing in particular. I'll just go into the next room in my Milo house and hmm, what can I build here? Oh, wait a minute. I think I know exactly what to make. I'm going to make a grand staircase into the final area of my Milo build. This is about to be the nicest room in the whole place. I think this will make it all worth it for Milo to go through his head to get to the final zone. Since all the rooms we built on this floor have kind of been terrifying for Milo, we are going to give Milo a huge gift and it'll be right at the top of a really grand staircase. We're gonna need to make sure the staircase is super grand and super spirally, otherwise Milo will not like it. Milo hates square staircases. I don't know why. This is something that's been happening with Milo for for a while now, and experts cannot explain it. That is why we need to make sure this staircase is round, otherwise Milo will never make it to the final floor. And there we go, this is the final level of the staircase, and I think it's looking pretty good. It looks really majestic and really round, but I think we need to make this even more majestic. We're gonna line the sides with gold. Milo's gonna be living like a king, and that's perfect, since we are going to be giving Milo his own kingdom. Milo will get a bird paradise in the top floor of his mind. There are gonna be so so many birds flying around, and since we are in Milo's own head right now, Milo will be the king of the whole area. I think Milo is going to like it so much, he might never want to leave, which honestly might be a pretty bad thing. What if we need to go hang out with Milo, and we can't since he's at the inside of his own head? In order to make sure Milo doesn't want to leave though, we're going to need to add a really nice golden frame around this entire place. Let's build it right now, and we better hope it's shiny. Wow, that looks perfect, it really is shiny. Every single golden block is just as shiny as I thought it would be. Now we need some brass bars. These are going to help stop Milo from, you know, falling off the edge. That is something Milo can do kind of often, so if Milo doesn't fall off the edge, he'll feel super elegant and graceful, just like a real bird. One of the things we need to put inside this super cool aviary for the birds is a bunch of birds that are orange and blue, because I think one of the things that Milo wants most of all is for me to be a birdie just like Milo, and for us to fly around the entire world together. It's such a nice thing for Milo to want, and we are going to give Milo his ultimate dream. Let's spawn down a bunch of parrots, and whoa, all of them are orange and blue. They are such cool colors.
skull is for parrots to be. Wow, I cannot believe I'm actually seeing this. Now these parrots deserve to live in actual parrot paradise. I guess you could call it a parrot dice. Now we are going to grab some grass blocks and we are going to make the most beautiful lush gardens for these parrots they have ever seen. This is looking magical. This is the most happy looking parrot aviary I've ever seen. For the final touch, we're gonna make a bunch of item frames and we're gonna fill them with bird seeds. That way both Milo and every single parrot inside this room is happy as can be. And done. The seeds are now everywhere in this beautiful aviary and Wait a minute, now I am 100% sure I just saw that. Guys, you know what to do. Rewind the video and see if you just spotted Milo flying around with all these parrots. I am so happy with how this aviary is looking and... Wait, what? I didn't build this. What is this over here? It's a giant bedrock box that's unbreakable. Oh no, did Milo put this here and... Hey, hang on a second, it says something on this door. It says Milo's deepest, darkest secrets. Wait a minute, this is where Milo stores his deepest, darkest secrets in his mind! Oh, I want to get in now, but... Oh boy, it looks like we won't be able to get inside this thing without Milo here as well! Wait a minute, but the time is up! This is the perfect time to do it, we'll be able to see this so soon! Now we need to find Milo and see which head we go through first! We're doing mine first, I decided! Okay, Milo, I guess we will do your build first and... Milo, you built inside my head, but... This doesn't look like me. Why is my eyebrow and hair melting? What do you mean? It looks normal. No, Milo. I look crazy in this building. One of my eyes is smaller than the other. That does not look like the real me. Well, it looks pretty good to me because I'm the artist. Okay, Milo. I think you might want to stop being a hairstylist because that is crazy. And huh, I see someone's name tag in there. That's really weird. I wonder who that could possibly be. Yeah, don't worry about it, lol. Okay, Milo. I won't, but... Wait, what? Why are there pictures of me all throughout here? Milo, how did you get these photos? I've been doing studying on you! Milo, I didn't see you taking these pictures. That's really creepy. You can't be taking photos of me like that. It's not creepy because I'm your brother and I'm following you with the camera every day! Okay, that's very creepy, Milo, but what on earth is this? This is all the crazy thoughts in your brain. Crazy thoughts in my brain? I mean, I do spend a lot of time thinking about trains and minecarts. This is honestly not that far off. Yeah, and also this redstone here, which you really like to build with. You're right, Milo. I do really like to build with redstone. And hey, is there anything in the chest? And oh, dang it, the chest is empty. Yeah, because your brain is empty a lot of the time. What? Milo, you just built a crazy train station with a bunch of thoughts racing around. How does that mean my head is empty? Well, I just need to show you something about this room we're in quickly. Oh, okay. What do you need to show me about the room? The reasons that I put all the photos of you on the wall is because you're obsessed with yourself. Hey, Milo, that's not true. I'm not obsessed with myself. Anybody could see that, and they could also see how cool I am and how awesome I am. Yeah, well, I guess you are kind of cool, which is why I built you a really sick gaming room. Wow, Milo, there are like nine TVs on the wall, and with how many dividers are in between the TVs, that number has to add up to even more in... Wait a minute, this is three different gaming consoles! Yeah, that's right! You got the Xbox, the Nintendo Switch, and the PlayStation 5! Wow, Milo, these are all so advanced! Thank you for getting me these, that's so nice of you! Yeah, because that's what your brain is like! Thanks, Milo, that's really cool, but, uh, what's in this kitchen? Well, because you love fast food. Yeah, you're right, Milo. I do really like fast food. I like burgers and Sprite and oh, yum, pizza! Pizza! And there's even cookies for my chip friends. Oh, thanks, Milo. Cookies are my actual favorite. But uh, where does this ladder lead? Uh, that's actually up to something that I really ought to show you. Oh, boy, I'm excited, but also a little bit nervous. Hey, what does this say? It looks like writing. It says Gridzy, hang on a minute. G-R-I-D. Milo, this is grid. That's same as gritty. No, Milo, a grid means a network of shapes and lines. Gritty is a dance. Well, Chip, do you want to see me gritty? Yes, Milo, I really want to see you gritty. Boo-cha, 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 boo-cha. Wow, Milo, that's a really good gritty. Thanks, I've really been practicing that whole time that you were over in the other place. Let me give it a go myself. Boom-cha. Boom cha, boom cha, boom cha. How did I do, Milo? Yeah, that's why you're the gritty king. 
Oh yeah, I totally am. Now, Al, I just took some damage. Is this something helpful through those doors? Um, there's not something helpful, but I'm gonna give you this. Oh, a golden sword. Milo, it's so shiny. Thanks for giving this to me. And I'm gonna give you two carrots, too. Two carrots? Okay, wait a minute. Why are you giving me fighting materials like I'm about to fight something? Well, hey, Presto! Ah, Milo, there's a room full of zombies! <laughs> Oh, yeah, thanks, Milo. I would have appreciated a warning beforehand. Ah, there's babies! Yep, they're gonna actually get you! Milo, I'm gonna die! Ah! Well, that was a bit crazy. I guess I forgot to give you the armor. Wait, Milo, there was meant to be armor that whole time? Yeah, here you go. Thanks, Milo. This is gonna be really useful and... Milo, this is terrible armor! What's wrong with it? I thought it was good! Oh, no, this is not good, but my fighting skills sure are. Now that I know there's zombies, I can come prepared and... Whoa, Milo, I'm actually doing serious damage to them now. Yeah, this is cool, Chip. You might actually get through the cave system. Whoa, wait, did you just say cave system? Milo, how much zombie cave is there? Well, I just thought you'd probably have caves in your brain. Ah! Okay, the armor is actually helping and... Milo, I don't have caves in my brain. That's a crazy thing to say. Well, isn't your brain all messy and silly? No, Milo, it's not, but... Okay, I think I managed to use the doors to smartly shut them out and make my way through this cave, but... Wait a minute, Milo, there's somebody locked in a cage here. Yeah, that's right! Oh, no. Milo, it's Alexis. Why is Alexis locked in a cage in my mind? Because you have a crush on her! Na, 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 na. What, Milo? Why would you say that? That's so embarrassing. I do not have a crush on Alexis. Yeah, well, you better save her from the zombies. Oh, boy. I think I'll come back for her later. Oh, okay. That's weird. Milo, you didn't give me a pickaxe. Uh, well... Okay, now what on earth is through this room? And I hope that zombie stays behind you. This next room is my favorite room of all time! Okay, I'm excited to see it and... Milo, what is in here? Milo M-I-L-O... Oh yeah, this is a Milo room and... Wait a minute, there's a bunch of tiny jip chips here. That's right, because I am your brother and I am your favorite person in the world and I have a place in your brain. Aw, you know what, Milo? You totally do. You are my favorite person in the world, and I think these villagers would agree, too. Let's go! Milo villagers for days! No, I think I've seen everything you've made inside my brain. Now it's time for me to show you what I built inside yours. Yeah, it is about to get crazy! Oh, yes, it is. Welcome, Milo, to the entryway into your own mind! This looks nothing like me! What? Milo, it looks exactly like you. The only reason it doesn't is because you're frowning and... Hey, yeah, it totally looks alike! No, it doesn't. I look way better than this! Um, sure you do, Milo. Now, if you come through here, you will see the first area of your mind. This is the confusion parkour. It's kind of all over the place, but that's because your thoughts are kind of all over the place, too. Who is this? Milo, this is not a person. This is an obstacle for you to jump on. Uh, why is he moving? Milo, it's not a he. It's not a person. This is literally a platform. Okay. Milo, don't apologize. It's a platform and, whoa, be careful. This parkour is really confusing. This is really confusing, Mitchip. I don't know where to go. All right, let's give this another go, then. You got this, Milo. I believe in you. It's actually really simple. Yeah, no kidding. It's simple. I just did something. I could do this for days. Um, I guess you could, but I really wouldn't recommend it, Milo. Wait. No, Milo, the doctor did not order it for breakfast, but you just ordered one glass of success. Yeah, I did look at this. Wow, Milo, you're doing such a good job. There are only two spinning platforms left until the end of this section of the parkour. Oh, I feel pretty dizzy, Chip. Milo, don't feel dizzy. That's a really good piece of advice for surviving this challenge. Yep, and you know what I always say? Don't cry. Yeah, I don't know why you say that all the time, Milo, but it kind of comes in handy here. I would try not to cry on this place, because if you do, your tears will land in the lava and turn to smoke. Boy, if I fall in that lava, I'm going to punch someone. Well, yeah, good luck punching someone if you've fallen in lava, Milo, but uh, that's the spirit. You need to use that anger to get through this. Yeah, you're falling in lava with Alexis. What? No, Milo, I'm not falling in love with Alexis. That's a crazy thing to say. And okay, you've made it out of the wipe out, but this is the bad vibe wipeout. You got to leave all the bad vibes in here. Okay, I got to do my ritual. Oh, you have a ritual? What does the ritual mean? 
Whoa, okay, I guess that's how you get rid of bad vibes. Now we should probably head into this room. This is a maze, but you'll notice that it's dotted with some of your favorite things. Careful, Milo, don't break the bed, Seeds. This is a room full of things that distract you because you kind of lose your train of thought a lot. Yeah, I do. My train of thought is always at the station and... Hang on a sec, is this my wallet that I keep losing? Yeah, Milo, that's wallet number five. You lost the other four the other day. Can I take it? Um, sure you can, Milo. Okay, thank goodness I found my fifth wallet. Yeah, good job, Milo. Now there are some other things you're going to need to find, too. What? Um, no, Milo, that's my credit card. That's just what you use to buy everything. This is not your credit card. This is my debit card, and I can't even pick it up! Good job, Milo. And you also just lost the ladder. Now you're going to need to find another way through this maze. And look, you're losing your sense of direction already. I'm getting dizzy and confused, but wait, did I do it? And what is going on? Milo, you somehow just dizzied and confused your way through the entire maze and ended up in the next zone. This is your bedroom in your brain, Milo. It's your imaginary bedroom where you have all your dreams. Why is Jip Jip floating? Milo, Jip Jip is floating because it reminds you of your favorite dream, the one where seven Jip Jips float around the room. Wow, that is a dream that I always have. This room is I'm liking it, and it's really nice to see all the Jip Jips here. Yeah, it totally is, but Milo, those Jip Jips are floating upwards, and there's a ladder leading directly upwards into the next floor. I'm gonna float like Jip Jip, look at this. Yeah, you totally will, but be careful, Milo, because the dreams might turn into nightmares. <laughs> Be careful, Milo. This is the nightmare zone. This is where you might end up if you don't focus on getting out of here. How do I get out of here? You need to parkour across all the spiders and make it to the next stage of the Milo head. I don't like spiders on my feet. Yeah, or in your brain either, I'm guessing. Yeah, definitely not in my stupid brain. Hey, your brain is not stupid, Milo. Don't say that. Yeah, but my brain is thinking about spiders right now and it's freaking me out. Yeah, that would be pretty freaky, but Milo, you're almost on the final part of the spider parkour, the cobweb zone. I can do it! I believe in myself! I believe in you too, Milo. Come on, you got this! Yeah, what is this thing? This is a giant spider web! Yuck, this is disgusting! Yeah, and pretty scary too, right, Milo? Yeah, I'm feeling very scared. It's like a true nightmare. I can't believe I went from a good dream about Chip Chip to a nightmare about Stinking spiders. Yeah, these are pretty stinking spiders. They smell like fear. Oh, yeah, I can smell it everywhere. Marcus the Haunted, if you know what I mean. Yeah, we don't talk about that guy anymore. But, uh, Milo, you might want to be prepared for the next room. Look out! What is going on? This is the maze of mirrors, Milo. Be careful, because I know you're terrified of your own reflection. That is Milo. And that is Milo. And that is Milo, and so is that! Oh gosh, this is scary! Oh yeah, but be careful, Milo. You might accidentally get backed into a dead end. And if you don't remember the way out, you might never make it. Oh, the Milos are gonna start attacking me! Why are they running around like that? Well, Milo, that's your reflection. You just gotta slow down if you want them to stop and... Oh boy, you're running into the next room! I don't understand reflections! Careful, Milo. I see you're already getting attacked by the ants. They're trying Oh, Milo, they're not trying to get your wallet. They're trying to get you because you're invading their home. They're criminals! Oh, my goodness, Milo, don't let them get you. You've got to make it to the top of the ant hill and find the secret entrance. Oh, I didn't know there was a secret entrance, and now I do! Hurry, Milo, the ants are following! Okay, we should be safe inside here, but uh, you might notice a little corridor behind you. Is this one here? Yep, totally just that one there, Milo. Why don't we make our way through? Oh, I can't believe all of this stuff is actually in my Brain. Yeah, you've got a big brain on the inside of your head, Milo. It is quite impressive. Yeah, I do, and wow, this is amazing, Chip. There's so many of my cousins. Yeah, and they are all half blue and half orange. This is because I know it's always been your dream for both of us to be birds and to fly around. Oh, this is so cool. I'm really happy. This is a really beautiful garden. I could be living here forever. Yeah, you totally could. I'm really happy you like it, Milo. Yippee! Hang on. What is this? Uh, let me have a read. 
<laughs> this is just a random bedrock box that appeared in my build one time, and it also says Milo's deepest, darkest secrets on it. Oh no, this is what I think it is! Wait a minute. Milo, what do you think it is? And hang on a second, I just got a lever. That is the exact sort of thing you need to open iron doors. Do not open that place. Okay, Milo, I think I might have to do it. Inside that door is your deepest, darkest secret, and I need to know it. No, no, no. Oh, there's a chest in here. Hmm, I wonder what could be inside. And oh, Milo, there's a book in here that says Milo's diary. No. I don't know, it was kind of just in this chest, but Milo, I'm sorry, I've got to do this. Okay, page one. This is my diary, and I have a deep, dark secret. Oh, Milo, a deep, dark secret, you say? Now it says, I am Milo, and I have a secret crush on Mimi the Mermaid. Don't tell anyone, please. Milo, you like Mimi the Mermaid? <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is so funny. Yes, I cannot believe that. Milo likes Mimi. Yeah! Hooray. 